Um, moving on to where Rugby Tech came from, during my rugby journey I was exposed to some fantastic mentors such as Duncan Hall, Chris Hickey, Bob Hitchcock, uh, fantastic coaches that I did had a really large input on my life at, at a crucial time. Uh, my father passed away when I was young and these were the guys that I looked up to for, for leadership and, and direction in my life. And that's what I'm trying to recreate here at Rugby Tech is to create that leadership, create mentors that young fellas coming out and girls coming out of school now have that opportunity to have someone else other than their, their family help direct them and mentor and, and give them guidance through into their future. In phase, I'm going to try and work over some people. So in this lineup, who would you like to run at? What pairing would you like to run, run at? And we also then educate you through rugby as well by providing the best coaches, former Wallabies, former Super Rugby players, to get, pass on their knowledge from their positions so that you have a better understanding of your position that you play, but also by the players and other positions in your team, you have an understanding that everyone needs to work together for the success of the team. Against Kenya, and Kenya was parked in here, but what we, not, we, what we know he's not parked in there. And a lot of teams follow the New Zealand coaching system of having a 15 way out here, which leaves some strong exposure through there. French team's very good at sliding balls through here when 15's come up. Okay. But right now, have a think again. So I guess he touched he touched on structure, but he also touched on the importance of sort of improvising and just going with the flow. And I think at this point in time, uh, you know, school rugby, club rugby, they're just too focused on structure. He showed me a lot of ways to, to play my game as a, as a fullback um, and other ways to read defence and where I, where I can better my game. Defending and how to um, position myself on the field and different attacking. So this is the attackers down here, there's the line. Okay, defenders. Two on two. How do you expose that? Because then I want you to apply that to up here. 